MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. The MTD media team are in Worthing today, and I'm here outside a company called Lambert and Searle. They've recently just invested in a brand new X5 five axis machining centre from Dugard. I'm going to go inside, I'm going to meet with Keith and we're going to have a chat about the installation. So Keith, we're going to have a look at the X5 in a minute, but before we do that, I just wanted to have a look at some of the parts that you're making on the machine. So can we start with that? Yep, yeah, okay. Um, we take this part here, for example. Um, we've been doing this for some years and it used to be, I think it was seven different operations on a three axis milling machine. Since the acquisition of the five axis machine, it's now down to two operations. So we, we hold on the, on the surface material underneath and do all, all, all the operations around the outside and there and the top. And then the final operation, the second operation, is just to remove the material at the back. OK, what about this internal bore here and that, call it, large chamfer? How do you do that? That is full five-axis simultaneous machining where all five axes are moving at the same time. So a, a, a milling cutter will enter the... That the hole is put in and a milling cutter will enter the hole and machine that feature. Pretty impressive. How would you have done that before? Uh, that was done on a manual, an old turret mill, by slinging the head over and clocking each job in, so it was a very labour intensive operation. So we've gone from seven operations down to two. What does that mean in terms of cycle time? Uh, drastically reduced, something like 30% of the original time, drastically reduced. And what made you actually? research and look at going to improve this were you thinking there must be a better way of doing it uh, there were cost pressures from the customer obviously more and more people are buying this sort of technology now getting into this sort of technology um, basically the customer was looking for cost reductions so that was the obvious route to go down okay well, we're gonna have a look at the machine in a sec as I said but let's just pick up another part the second one we've got here this looks a little bit more intricate and it looks pretty fiddly would I be right in saying that? Yeah. Not a very technical term, but... Uh, well, yeah, it's fiddly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a manifold, magnesium manifold, um, with holes at various angles. Really, uh, there's no other way of doing a job like that, not with any degree of, of accuracy, and certainly you just wouldn't be cost-effective. Again, with, with, with the five-axis, um, it can sling it around, hit, hit virtually the whole job in one go, um, so your tolerances are maintained positional tolerances on the holes are maintained. And we quantified the last part, seven ops down to two. Were you doing this before on another machine or is this a job you uh, picked up since you had the machine? This is a, a new job. This is a job really we got because we got the five axis. Uh, so you've not only improved existing jobs, you've also got new work as a result of the machine? That's correct, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the X5. You bought this machine from Dugard. Did you look at a lot of machines? What, what made you go for this one? Uh, well, Dugards is, a, is a, a, a local to us, which was always very good for uh, any backup. Um, we've had Dugard machines in the past and found them to be very good. And the machine was very competitively priced. Uh, we did look at some others, but the Dugard machine was really it was down to a, good, a lot of machine for the price. And, and this machine has actually got the Heidenhain control, which I, I'm assuming you might be familiar with on your three-axis machines. That's correct, yeah, and all the guys are familiar with, with Heiden Hain here. So. so was it a big learning curve for you? If there was a message you could give to the market that are maybe thinking three axis to five, is it difficult, is it easy? Um, there is a learning curve. It is a bit of an art, um, but it's not too bad. And the big question, return on investment, when you bought it, you might be thinking two years, three years, five years, I don't know. What, what, what yeah. What's the outcome on that front? I would say within a couple of years, yeah. yeah. So potentially another machine then? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And, and the business itself, Lambert and Cell, tell us about the company. The company's been going since the late 1960s. Obviously changed somewhat since then. Um, I, I took over in 2010 as director, I've invested in quite a few things since then, um, trying to move forward, um, doing subcontract. We do a lot of F1 work, uh, motorsport work, as our main, main customers. And are you, you both milling and turning here? Milling and turning, yeah. Do you have any other, do you do grinding, EDM or anything like that? Was it purely on the milling and turning front? Purely milling and turning and we sub out any, any other wire erosion or, or um, spark eroding or grinding. And is business good at the moment? Business is very good, yeah, very good. Well, let's hope that continues. I think it is, it's a great machine. I've, I've known the machine for some time and I'm glad it's uh, doing well for you. And thanks for your time, Keith. Okay, thank you. 
For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.